It may not even be a Shadow Fiend mid because of this. You may consider putting Brewmaster. Then you've got the Bane Marana who can have a lot of kill potential regardless of what they're up. Uh, no, I think he it. mistimed it, but yeah, at some point Loda's like, yeah, I'd like to have some creeps to help me farm here, but <laughs> no, 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 no. Otherwise, he's just tanking the tower. Keep Shadow Fiend not level 5, and he'll okay. be eternally grateful. Top lane, bit of a Actions. fight going out. Looks like Magicka may go down into Self Nightmare, looking for the deny. He's gonna get the deny. S4, this may be your first blood. Mirana manning up, gets hexed up. Who's going down first? The Impale comes in. First blood. Kuro. S4. Has a salve and Tango now. He doesn't even have to go back to base. That was a pretty close one. Sharkin's gonna go down mid. Whoa. Okay. Whist Tiny in a nutshell. Yeah. That was, was Nightmare up top, by the way. Arrow to follow. S4. He's in trouble. That's big That's kill. your Nightmare Arrow and down Huge he goes. Kill. Bought his items at least. Didn't lose any money for that, but still a kill I that's gonna help. Sharkin's gonna come try and gank bottom. Or maybe he's just jungling. Is a you play just... you would not expect. That is like a last resort kind of play. Level 3 Shadow Fiend roaming. And I think it's going to work. That's the funny thing here. No points in gut. One raise. Is there another raise? He's got the long one. Nequa still alive on 20 HP. He goes down to the roaming Shadow Fiend. Okay. <laughs> I've seen it all now. Top lane. Mirana gets a kill to start things off on the line. And they want S4 as well with the Wisp rotation. It looks like it will be two kills. Going away from Alliance. A double for Pycat. Nice rotation by Arke. Keep him a little Any... edge in lane. The bat needs to heal. He can't be there. Puppy needs to drop this sentry ward. This Moonlight Shadow is coming in soon. He's going to leave with an arrow. Should get spotted. But Arteezy does not dodge it. Can they get in here in time? Puppy doesn't get the resummon on the Eidolons. They haven't got the damage. It's four hero in Avalanche. Toss. Kuro low. They get off the Requiem of Souls. Low are going to go down to the finger here. And they've still got the Ravage to fight this one. Pycat on the high ground. Doesn't get hit by the Ravage. He may throw some arrows from the north. Goes in on Puppy. Stars on right click. Brings down the Enigma to start things off. Pounces up after Kuro. Kuro in trouble. One more right click. Pops the drum. Will get it. There's your tether across. Hits the slow. Primal Split now coming out. And it looks like Alliance. Going to back off. They bought back on their Bane. TP coming in from your tide. And Pycat throws the arrow. Doesn't actually hit onto the Shadow Fiend, but there's a lasso and that will hit. We'll bring Arteezy onto the high ground, and Arteezy gonna be trapped up here. You can go for a TP, but that's not gonna work. Oh, okay. He Jumps goes out. down with three heroes dead. Team Secret in a lot of trouble here. S4's ulti is worn off, and he can't TP against the Flame Break. Doesn't even have the mana for it right now. Alliance just crushing Team Secret here in game two, at least so far, and Roshan not even secure. That was what a position. He actually goes in, he's gonna pull tight onto the cliff, lock him in place, and have fun, Zai. TP out, flame break. He breaks the TP and keeps him on the cliff. That's a dead tie. Meanwhile, on the south fight. Puppy looking maybe for a black hole here. They're gonna get the chain stun off. Arteezy goes down, the black hole's there, but only onto Loader. There's no damage for this one. Kuro! He's low on HP. Aki will finish him off the relocate back. Aki leaves the tiny there to stay fighting. And meanwhile, Puppy brought down. That's four dead. Brewmaster blinks backwards. That was your five man smoke around the Brewmaster blink. And they get. Iron Jesus kicks in. And I guess Secret will take any victory they can. They throw the arrow from afar. No. Well, this is an axe tiny breaking your high ground. They still have. They still have Requiem and Ravage. So. I might try and see something there. See if Loda commits to this one. It looks like they want to go in this melee barracks with the overcharge. He's hitting at a decent attack speed. Here we go. Blink, Ravage. They've got a Brewmaster clap. Axie's the target first. And then they move on to Loda without the protection. Alliance. They've overextended. They'll give up a couple of big kills. And Secret going to hold on to their racks for now. Although they've still got a, another smoke gank. Smoke He's done broken. this before. And oh, it broke the no line. Detection. No detection. No detection. That's Mine unfortunate. Dust. It oh, is. Okay. They catch up. This is just your Bane. Not really the ideal target. They pull an Arteezy. Avalanche is there. What's that? Relocate. No! Ravage catches two. Black Hole is well going to catch up. Loader and Ake. Can they bring him down? The Wisp is dead. Loader gets fingered. Oh boy. Nikwa now on his own. Trying to run the hell out of there. Further to the south. It's a Bane caught out by the Primal Split. And it looks like Machka. We brought down. The Gush is there to slow him. Lock him down in place. And a three for nothing. Good smoke from Secrets. I'd love to get a Roshan off of this. We'll have to see if they can. This was a poor team fight from Radiant. Yes, let go at this point. With that, you get an Aegis on Loda, and suddenly you're looking at a push down the bottom lane. Unfortunately for them, there is a big creep wave near their T2 tower, so if they want to push bottom lane, they're gonna. They should just go farm uh, Loda's BKB. Maybe just 
feeling a bit overconfident because of the Aegis, because of the Batrider Blink Dagger. We'll see if this fight goes as full as you think it oh, might be. Catch up S4. Can they burst him down before the split comes into play? The arrow is there, and uh oh, down goes your Brewmaster. He's got to buy back, and he may have to use it. We'll throw it out. The Requiem BKB from Arteezy. That's a dead wisp, and Loader now kind of trapped. He gets forced up to the low ground, but not Stop. sure that's going to be enough. He's coming back up, and there's a black hole waiting for him. Are uh, they going to throw this one out? Loader turns, gets a toss on RTC. The Avalanche is there. That's your buyback from your West. Ravage catches out too. Black hole from Puppy. Just on a Loader. The flame breaks there. Nice West play from Nigma. Good positioning. Blink onto the high ground from Pycat. He's going to bring down your Puppy Enigma. And now the rest of the heroes trapped on the low ground. Pycat and BKB just going in on Zai. He wants the tide. He goes back to the high ground now with that full stuff. And he's going to go down in the end. That's going to be a dieback from S4 if he can't get out of this one. Flame break will push him back. And now the brain snap. Right click damage. Pycat with an ultra kill. This Mirana just too damn farmed to fail. Yeah, Pycat did so much work that fight. They Picks focused. And and <laughs> they focused on the tiny and the wisp, and Pycat just right clicked everyone down. Well, I didn't think that fight was going. I didn't think that fight was going to go well for them, but um, Ake's buyback on wisp, he relocated in and then tethered up the Loda and then overcharged him during the black hole, and um, they didn't really do any damage to him. And he actually ended up tanking like all of Team Secret's ultimates. One of those weird games where, well not weird, but an interesting way how things transi transition because Loader became more of just the front line and he never actually dealt huge amounts of damage in a fight, he just tanked most of the spells and let Pika do what he needed to do. Yeah, that was a nice team fight right there at the end from Alliance. I thought they needed Loader's BKB, but I was, I was wrong. Really good game from Nikon back, but Pika, game one he was like 15-2-17, this game around.